Hey YouTube, quick uh, garden update here from Reagan's Ridge. And uh, these are yellow and orange Scotch bonnet uh, peppers that a friend of mine gave me. I'm not eating those. I'm just going to grow them because it's fun to grow stuff like that. And uh, inside of the greenhouse, these are uh, just some succulents that need to go back in the house. They are not enjoying the warm Missouri weather. And it's about to get into the uh, high 90s next day or so here. But this is the start of my uh, elderberry cuttings. This is the first time I've taken elderberry cuttings. I think I waited a little bit too long in the year here, and they're all droopy. But um, I've got some that I just clipped and put in some uh, things of water, just a cup of water, and they are all doing great. They look more like this one here. But uh, I'm going to go and get a whole bunch of solo cups and uh, set them up with nothing but elderberry cuttings and see if I can't take those to the flea market this spring and, uh, well, set them up on my property, of course. I want to put them up there. I want as many uh, food-bearing plants on my land as I can get. And uh, that's all I really got for you for today. So I will keep you updated on the uh, elderberry cuttings. Uh, it's kind of an experiment for me, but I found uh, a lot of literature online that says basically you almost can't screw this up. These things love to live, so I'll see how well they do. Uh, they're still kind of damp there, so I don't think I need to water them. I might put them into a humid dome, uh, just something to try and keep them a little bit more humid or see if I can't maybe drape some plastic over top of this and uh, keep it off the plants, but keep it misted so that they can kind of stay humid. Anyhow, that's all I got for you for uh, today. So uh, if you like what you see, make sure to hit uh, like, uh, hit subscribe, and uh, hit the little bell notification, uh, you know, down here. And uh, I'll show up in your feed. Uh, so Regan's Ridge out.